Hi guys and welcome in my hack video. This is actually a requested video by Rachel. So Rachel, this is for you. I'm gonna talk you through all the products I use for my straight hair. I've got naturally straight, slick hair uh, from product to care and wash my hair and then to style. So let's get started. So I'm using two pre-treatment products at the moment. One of them is an oil and this is from Aesop. I decided to get oil because my uh, friend who is also a blogger and she also has a YouTube channel, she's using a lot of oils. Uh, it's Patricia and I'm gonna link to her blog as well. You should check it out because she's amazing when it comes to skincare and hair care. And her hair is really long and it's growing super fast and she swears by using oils. But I have to say I'm really lazy with it and I don't think it works that well for me because I just can't be bothered to massage it into my scalp regularly. But I've used it a few times and it was nice. It just feels like you have to wash your hair a bit more afterwards. The other product that I have, it's uh, Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. This is something that I've used before and I really, really like it. Elasticizer is a conditioner that you put before you wash your hair, at least for 20 minutes. You can use it overnight if you want and it helps to moisturize your hair so it's got more elasticity. So when it comes to washing your hair, it's not it's not damaging it that much because your hair is a bit like a rubber. So if you imagine old rubber, when you stretch it, it will just break. And our hair, um, under the pressure of water, is stretching a little bit. So if it's lacking moisture, it might snap. And this basically prevents. And I can notice difference when I'm using elasticizer and when I'm not. And then I wash my hair. I've been using um, Fito Paris for quite a long time now. I use this as a densifying shampoo and I've been using it probably for a year now. And there is also a John Frieda volume range that I have. Now, I've been using this conditioner for quite some time. This is probably my third or fourth tube. Um, on the other hand, the shampoo, I don't use it that much because I really, I'm quite sensitive to fragrance in shampoos. So if I use it every day for a few weeks, it will start giving me scalp sensitivity. So I only use this shampoo whenever I need a bit more boost into my hair, um, make it a bit more fluffy, maybe where I know I'm gonna keep my hair down and I'm not gonna curl it, just so I know I've got a bit more volume. It really works well, and I particularly like the conditioner because it doesn't weigh my straight hair down. And then I also use this John Frieda um, full repair deep conditioner. Now I've been sent this few months back to test and I got really excited because I by this time already was familiar with this range and I really like the conditioner there and it is really good if you have hair up like mine because it really does give you that super extra nourishment and it won't weigh your hair down. Myself I always find that whenever I buy masks I end up giving them away because most of them really Yes, they're conditioned, but they also give, give my hair so much weight that it looks like I never washed my hair in the first place. But this was really, really nice. It's nearly empty now, and I really enjoyed using it. So next stage is obviously drying. I will just towel dry my hair, and then I've used L'Oreal Paris Elnet, and this is heat protecting styling spray. I didn't like it actually. I've used it because I didn't have anything else. I didn't want to just bin it and waste money. But I didn't like, it gave my hair this sort of stiffness. So especially if I put a bit too much product, I mean too much, if I generally spritz my hair with it, it would make my hair really quite coarse and and quite stiff and I didn't like it. It wouldn't sit nicely, it wouldn't flow nicely. Um, yeah, so I probably won't repurchase this. I will try to look for some other alternatives, other brands. So if anyone knows something good, then do let me know in the comments box below because I want to use this again. So if I just wash my hair and then I'm drying, I use the uh, Echo Tools brush. This one is the one that sort of got holes in it so it helps to speed up drying. I really liked actually using it. I only use it for drying my hair, um, but I really like it. Um, nice, simple, 
and I just, yeah, I enjoy using it. Um, if I'm styling my hair with straightness, I use styling spray. And so for quite a long time, probably a year, I used to use this Trevor Sorby, um, and it's called Curl Creator. I already spoke about it before, it's fantastic. Now this one's empty and it's I think my second bottle. And I couldn't buy it anywhere, it's just sold out everywhere, so I actually don't know if they still do it or if it's discontinued. I hope not, because it was very good and inexpensive. So I bought something different instead. Um, this is a Bumble and Bumble Desert Oil Styling Spray and this is how I use it. It's okay, but I don't feel it's any better than than this one, whereas this is £20 and that's was something like £6. So um, I know this is bigger, it's 300ml, this is 200ml, but still, it lasts a long time, so I probably would prefer buying the other um, other styling spray. It smells nice though. Like probably most girls I also have in the, in my hair styling collection dry shampoo and I use this one from Theresa May. It's the translucent version, which is great if you have darker hair color. I love it, it smells great, it really works. It doesn't give me itchy scalp, which is bonus. I find that would most. Um, you can get it often at a boost for, on three for two as well. What's not to like? And I've been using it for pretty much two years because I really like it and it's not that expensive. There are more expensive dry shampoos out there. And I don't think they're necessarily so much better. Finally, I also use um, hairspray sometimes. I don't use a lot of hairspray, but occasionally if I curl my hair and I want to set my style, I will sometimes spritz a little bit of um, hairspray or occasionally to, to hold some fly away, some little hair. At the moment, I have this new John Frieda shampoo, which I picked up after seeing um, an ad on TV. And it's nice, but I I don't know. I got it because it says it's got um, keratin in it. That's basically what sold it to me. But I normally use the, from the same range, Elnet shampoo, and uh, shampoo, um, Elnet hairspray. That's the word that I'm looking for. And I prefer, I think, this one. I like the, the texture of it, it's quite dry. Whereas this feels a bit more wet when it goes on. Probably it's a bit more of a hold, even though I picked number three, which is called Flexible Hold. And that's what I usually buy from this brand as well. I buy Flexible Hold, but it seems stronger than the um, Elnet equivalent. And that's it for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions of what might be really good to try for straight hair, any haircut products, do pop that in the comments box below. And once again, thanks for watching, and I see you next week in another video.